Great. Hi, and welcome to the South Manager Bi Weekly Meeting. Today is Thursday, May 2nd, 2024. As part of the CNCF, uh, the project follows the CNCF Code of Conduct, which basically means let's all be nice to each other. This meeting is being recorded and will be posted on YouTube once it is available. Please go to the agenda document, which I'll be sharing in a sec there. Uh, please go to this document and add your list to the attending list. Uh, if you have agenda items, please add them to the to today's agenda items here. Like, is showing them here. Uh, I'll pause now if oh there's nothing no there's no one no one is new here so I do not need to pause for newcomers. Today we'll start with some announcements and continue with the items on the agenda. And I forgot to add the additional format announcements. So let's start with Ashley's quick graduation updates and call to action. Thank you. Yeah. So uh, I cheekily slotted myself in at the top here just to get this in first. Um, we have our graduation issue raised. It used to be a PR that you had to raise, which we did in November, and now it's changed to raising an issue that is raised. And we are working on the last remaining things, which are uh, now required to graduate. And that's changed since we raised the issue. Um, one key thing that's still ongoing is that we need um, people who can be interviewed by the CNCF um, to uh, sort of say how they use Cert Manager, talk about it. Like the questions are all shared um, ahead of time. All I need is um, your name, email address, and company name. Uh, in the call, I think only Robin would be uh, eligible to take part in this, but anyone who watches this um, this recording, please do get in touch. There's details on the meeting notes here for how you can get in touch and uh, Katie will send out an interview request to you. It shouldn't take more than like 10 minutes or so. It's pretty quick. Maybe not 10 minutes, but yeah. Um, please do help Sir Manager. Um, it would be a uh, awesome thing to get that list of people completed. Uh, Conveniently, I was the one that did the releases for the next couple of items that are on the announcement section, so I'll quickly go on to those. Approval policy 0.14 is uh, out. This includes a change that I've wanted to make for a long time, and I'm really glad it is there. Um, it makes it much easier to use approval policy with external issuers. Um, there's, If you really squint at this, there's maybe a security implication of it. This is, a, this is described extensively in the release notes, but... Um, basically, it just makes life easier with no real practical downsides for the vast majority of people using approval policy. Um, there's three cert manager releases that have happened as well. Um, these all include a fix for a really nasty bug in the Digital Ocean DNS01 solver, which would delete valid DNS records unrelated to uh, uh, Acme if you were using a C name. Um, uh, thank you to Caleb who reported that at KubeCon and uh, tested the fix. Um, there's also a minor CVE that's patched. It's worth an upgrade just for that. But if you, if anyone's watching this and the runs the DNS01 solver for DigitalOcean and hasn't upgraded yet, by God, do that now. Stop the recording and go and do that, <laughs> like, immediately. Um, I will pass back over to Mael. Thank you. Uh, next two items are Richard Wall published a new article about scaling Cert Manager, and I found this this uh, it's a sort of tutorial. Also, it yeah it talks about a lot of details that you might want to know about if you if you're running Cert Manager at scale. Um, I learned a lot of things like I wasn't aware that the client that Sotmatter uses by default has a cat is is uh, is limited and you should d disable that disable it so that the API server uh, uh, rate limiting kicks kicks 
kicks in instead of having sort measure being uh, limiting itself. So read that if you if you want to learn more. And Eric has promoted additional certificate output formats to beta. So anyone using 1.15 will be able to use additional certificate output formats by default without using the feature gate. Thank you, Eric. And there is another thing. Uh, there is the gateway API. Have you talked about that? No. Uh, there is the gateway API support that has been promoted to beta and it needs it now needs a new flag. So it's enable gateway. Oh, wait, is, is it something you want to talk afterwards? Uh, Peter, put it in the agenda section. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll let Peter speak then, if that's okay. Uh, yeah, you can hear me okay? Yeah. Uh, I, I put it in the agenda. Um, I thought it was good to highlight that we've moved it to beta. Um, but probably, yeah, the, the big thing I'm just mentioned here is unlike other feature gates where beta means it's on by default, uh, because Gateway API requires CRDs to be installed, we, we, it's still behind the feature flag, but it's a different feature. It's a command, it's a the org you've got to provide to turn on essentially and that's to stop people from just having it on by default and then having their cert manager install fail because they're missing gateway crds that they might not be using because uh, not everybody uses them thanks peter and thank you adam also for opening the pr and doing everything uh so we are, yeah, we're already in the agenda items. Ori, uh, Ori, Ori, is Ori here? Ori uh, had something come up and couldn't make it, unfortunately. So he had prepared a slide though, which he shared in, oh, in did a I miss thread. That? Did I miss that? Uh... Is it insert manager dev? Let me copy it into the chat here and see if anyone else can access it here. Thanks. Uh, that's the link. Sorry, I don't think I have things open at the minute. So uh, there we go. I should we? Uh, I, I have no idea what this is. Uh, is anyone able to talk about it? Or should we postpone this to the next time? We should probably pos probably postpone it, but yeah. having read read through the notes here, it, it it seems like what he actually wants to do to support this is a relatively simple thing. Sounds like just mounting a, an additional volume that can be used by some AWS specific thing to map things to other things. Um, so it sounds like a sim simple enough change, but I don't really know enough about the CSI drivers for feeder. Uh, say that it's, ah, a simple thing. it's about authorize ah ori from authorize yeah i met him now i remember i mean i met him with ash who's also on the call am i correct ash i, I believe we met him yeah. maybe uh, maybe King not Kong, King Kong was a blur but okay. i i, I yeah. am familiar with what he's talking about here like there's it's a really interesting demo that um this sort of builds on where you you can use uh, CSI driver spiffy's identities sort of natively to authenticate to AWS. Like this will be a really interesting discussion when we can have it. So it's one to look forward to. Okay, so let's talk about that uh, in two weeks. Uh, next one is graduation. Oh, oh that's me. <laughs> Someone added a small something here emoji. Uh, so it's something that Ash talked about, and now we need to do it. And since we, if if we don't have any other business, other of business, we can talk about it now. Uh, it's about updating the roadmap, looking at the roadmap, and and letting me know if there is anything anything off, and then I will update it. 
Is there anything you want to talk about before that? No, then I can open the roadmap. Oh wait, is it in the community? I yeah, think it should be. In... Yeah, yeah, community. Yeah. No, <laughs> no. I assumed it had been moved, but yeah, it's in the main server manager repo, I guess. Yes. Okay, so we have a bunch of items. Integration with other projects. Oh, I think we haven't done this for a long time. Service mesh integration, or am I wrong? We haven't made any efforts towards this. I, 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 I suspect we might need to reevaluate this all from sort of the ground up because this was kind of just us thinking of things that we could maybe do and wasn't really prioritized based on anything, really. And I think it's the same thing with time. everything here. Like, for example, yeah. external DNS plugin. This is completely uh, forgotten. I don't think it's ever going to come unless the external DNS project actually does something, but they haven't. And we, we don't even have any, any, I don't have any energy or will to do that. Uh, but the gateway API, that should be, that should, doesn't need to be here, right? That can be removed. Uh, what about Kubernetes APIs? I don't know what this means because I think we're already up to date. It's not really a roadmap item because we just do this all the time anyway. Like we would just always respond to this. Yeah, CSR. Uh, I we... do with that. Isn't it the? Isn't it the certificate signing request? Just I mean, it... this. That that matches what's written, but like, why would we have put that in the roadmap? Because we already supported it when this was written. Or is it the bundle thing? No, can't be. Oh, Just that's the next thing. Is, yeah, that is definitely still a roadmap item. That's a trust manager thing, obviously. Okay. And the other ones, EST, I have no idea what this is. It's like an Acme thing for enterprises that want to be cool. Okay. But I, I, I can't imagine that anyone's going to want to implement this anytime soon, but if is someone there, did, we might want to support it. Like, is there anything that would make sense to 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 be to stay on the roadmap? Like, my, my, I think none of these, except the trust anchor sets. Trust anchor uh, sets. None of these. CA cert renewal in PKI lifecycle is um, like basically that's a bug in the CA issuer and like it should be on the roadmap like it being on the roadmap doesn't mean it'll get fixed anytime soon but like that is definitely something that in my view should remain on the roadmap and be until it's fixed it's something that's always in the back of my mind oh if if if, if it is if if that's something that you have the will like you have in your mind then yes it should be on the roadmap otherwise it shouldn't <laughs> if if no one cares about it then I wonder what People. the next point is. Make cert manager a viable way to create and manage private PKI deployment at scale. I think it's sort of an extension of the, the first bullet point. Like with the CA issue a bit working the way it does, you can't realistically do a big PKI deployment with cert manager safely unless you know all of the corners that you're gonna bump into and all that. Like um there's, there's more that we could do in this space. But what, again, not necessarily anything that we're actually going to do. Like the, the big thing for Sir Manager is, is maintenance, right? Like that making sure it works solidly for people is like the priority. Yeah. Also, uh, I, yeah. I don't know exactly if that's something we should recommend to use Cert Manager as a PKI setup, I feel like PKI setups most often will go beyond cert manager. And I don't know. I feel like cert manager is more like to connect your cluster to an existing PKI setup. I think it's it's something that someone could argue 
we should add in good faith that and, and we would consider like that's it's a reasonable thing to suggest that we might have better support for that that doesn't mean it should be on the roadmap but it is a reasonable sort of thing that we might do to go down that road could lead to all sorts of interesting places that maybe interesting that maybe we don't want to go like being able for cert manager issuers to talk to another customer which would cert manager in order to issue a cert all kinds of stuff which <clears throat> done. Oh, I'm thinking about Peter. better support for a CA rotation. I know there have been some issues in that area. We could do some something more without necessarily addressing the text that is written there, but it's kind of related. CA rotation um, for some of the hobby projects I've worked on in the past where I'm trying to set my issue client certs, CA rotation would be excellent. So I wouldn't have to issue like a 10 year CA and things like that. Would be would have been would have been a very nice nice thing. I think you can achieve something similar just by having a controller create a new CA and then using Trust Bundle to bundle up the old and the new, hand a rotation that way. But it'd be nice if that was all native. That's probably what we are going to do. But uh, that is a problem if you have certificates with an uh, with a longer lifetime. You will have to uh, force renew them. Okay, there. This is definitely staying here. But maybe this one, this one is a bit fuzzy to me. Uh, yeah. Make set measure. Like, what, 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 uh, is it set measure or set measure? We can just remove it. We can just remove it. And the rest. Is there anything that should stay? I'm uh, still a big believer in shrinking core, but I'm, I'm conscious that Peter's had his hand up for a while. Yeah, go ahead, to Peter. Thanks. Uh, I was just going to suggest that maybe maybe we put a, a call out to the community. Uh, if we're going to move this roadmap anyway, and I assume it into like the community repo, um, we ask for input on what people would like to see beyond beyond the maintainers, um, to get a feel for, you know, what what, what people would like to see in in certain manager and associated projects. Like, what would what would the roadmap for the next year? look like for people like what problems are they facing and um that might get some some good good input i know there are I other guess, questions I guess, I guess i guess there are two different roadmaps and there, there's the roadmap from the community like from hoping people people hoping for futures and the the roadmap that we the <laughs> maintainers uh are willing to work with I don't know if she you yeah it's worth looking at the CNCF and the neutrality page for this like it's fine to have something on the roadmap that won't realistically get worked on unless someone volunteers for it like if, if it can be a, a point that um, it can be a, a a thing that people might aspire to work on it like or it could be like a like a way for people to get into the project sort of thing like it's fine if nobody can can work on it but it's important that you know well obviously with graduation like there's focus on the fact that a lot of the maintainers happen to be paid to work on cert manager and work at venify right like that the point is that we shouldn't have any sort of unilateral control over the roadmap in, in that regard. That doesn't mean we have to work on what the community request. It doesn't mean we have to do anything, but it does mean that we have to, you know, take good faith arguments and, and respond to them reasonably, which is obviously a good thing to do and we would want to do anyway. It's not, that doesn't change anything. But I think this is this is to me a good a good starting point for us creating this open roadmap and iterating on it. That that's what you're referring to, the guide to open source roadmaps here. Basically everything on this page on that guide, yeah. Okay, I haven't read them, so I, I need to read read them. We also have the steering committee, the inaugural meeting of the cert manager steering committee next week, which they obviously are well placed to be involved in in, in these discussions and suggest things. Yeah, actually, that's going to be helpful. Yeah. 
So I'll read this because I have no idea. And uh, we can do something. Peter, will be will you be there at the steering committee meet, meet, meeting? Or can you be here? If 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 someone sends me an advice, I I could be there, I guess, yeah. I uh I'm I'm saying this because you are helpful in this process. <laughs> really helpful. Yeah, yeah, uh, if you send me an invite, I'd, as long as I haven't got any other clashes, then yeah, I'll be there. Um, is it Great. is it worth the current roadmap just putting a big note at the top and saying this is this is old and will be rejigged and expect to find the updated roadmap in new location, just link to the to be confirmed page in the community or something like that? Yeah, I can, I can do this immediately. That's an easy change. <laughs> I, w I would actually personally support is just l linking to the community repo and in the community repo saying like coming soon or something. Like I don't think any of this is up to date and helpful in to, to anyone that wants to see a roadmap for us. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so I'll uh, do exactly this afterwards. And let's go back to the agenda. There's nothing else except the CI test grid. Should I go over this? That's uh, a dumb system. <laughs> One of the items on the roadmap was to remove text, uh, test flakes, and we have not done that, to say the least. Oh, it sounds really it. boring. <laughs> OK, was, let's, let's opening then. There was discussion well, um, with the migration of Infra of how we could get rid of some flakes due to nodes, nodes shutting down. I think there's some work being put in there by turn. Yeah, so I can give a quick status update. Um, so one thing I was able to fix is if the node shuts down because of spots, instance stuff, um, it now actually reruns the tests. So there was already some logic in Pro for that, but it only was when the pot was um, evicted and not when the pot was terminated due to shutdown. So I added some additional checks and I created like a custom build of the upstream. Um, I think it's like the tight, no, it's not tight, um, pro controller manager or something like that. Um, and I created an upstream PR to fix it upstream too, but that's working now. So you shouldn't see any problems with that anymore. Um, one thing that's consistently failing is these the fanify tests for some reason um and i'm still trying to debug that we've made some progress with the infrastructure to fix that um if you look at the board now i think there's a lot of stuff failing because of feature gates but that has been fixed too um, but there definitely are still flakes and I would say it's it's not that bad for certain manager, but like other projects like Istio CSR and um, approvables, you where there's like constantly flakes for some reason. So I think those projects are also worth looking at. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the status update. Thanks. That that was useful. I guess that was the only the, that the last uh, agenda item. And we're done under 30 minutes. Mind if I ask one or two questions off agenda for two seconds? Yeah. Um, do. On that CI test grid, I saw it went up to 1.29. 1.30 was released a handful of days, maybe a week ago. What's the expectation to start doing um, test grid tests for 1.30? We'll do it um, soon. So. All of our tests use kind, and we kind of just wait for them to release the up their image for a given Kubernetes version, then we'll adopt it. It's a five minute job for us to start running tests on a new um, Kubernetes version. It's just, we're kind of just waiting for kind and very few people upgrade quickly enough for it to be worth us creating our own image, if you know what I mean. No, ab absolutely, that makes sense. I wasn't aware that you were dependent on kind, so that makes uh, complete sense. Um, 
the second question I've got, which is more around that roadmap graduation side. Uh, when I look at your uh, issues, your top rated or top commented issues on GitHub, there's a few there from 2019, 2020, which are the highest rated. Is that roadmap or the redesign of the roadmap still going to include those kind of like high, highly commented, highly requested um, comments or issues? Or are you going to look at reevaluating the current issues uh, that exist in this repo? And I say, I've, I know I'm sorting by a comment. I've completely forgotten how to sort by the plus ones uh, inside of GitHub. It's been a while since I last did that. <laughs> I mean, this would be an excellent place for us to start with roadmap. Like this, this is a pretty good indicator of community desire, right? It's, it's, um, there's, there's a lot of good stuff in here. Maybe that name constraints one might have been done recently. I'm not sure, but. <laughs> Yeah, I There's... think there are some things in here that have been solved, actually. Name constraints has been added. Also, the second one, Peter made a great tutorial to uh, to do something similar, kind of an alternative to introducing a new CRD. Um, but instead, with Keyfern, you can also set defaults and do it that way. I um, think so... with a lot of these, we, we used to have like triage parties where we used a tool to help us triage and sort through issues. and. Um, we haven't done one of those for a while, and it might be worth us just sort of getting all of the maintainers in a call and just blasting through a lot of these, because uh, even just looking at this now, there's a few of them that are quite clearly done. <laughs> yeah, the um, just from a end user perspective, if I come across one of these issues, let's say integration of external DNS, which I know is a bad example because we've just talked about that from the roadmap. But if that was something which I needed, my default would be to add the plus one instead of rehashing a conversation on the community channels or creating a new issue, which is a duplicate. And so um, it seems to work with other repositories. And I think it follows a nice pattern, especially as you enter that graduation phase. Yeah, that's a, that's a great, great comment. Thank you. And, and by the way, uh, maybe six months ago, I remember work, working specifically on one of these top uh most commented and most uh reacted to issues so uh like giving thumbs ups is working or maybe it's not working for the roadmap yet or and the roadmap doesn't reflect that but it is it is something we look our i look at yeah, that was never in question. It was more of, as you're talking about the roadmap changing, just making sure that these are still uh, reviewed. Um, but no, absolutely, I've seen, and I think I've been part of a number of them which I've uploaded and they've now been fixed in these versions. Uh, so no, thank you for the efforts on those. And thank you for your efforts too. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at this, four years ago, I opened this. Four years ago. It's never going to be closed. Uh... Back when I still had hair. <laughs> ah, that was good. It, there's no correlation between Ash's hair and external DNS. Uh, yeah, I can hear <laughs> from more than I. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a brief sort uh, of a hair? Can we measure it over time? It's fair to say that metric has trended downwards in my case, at least. Mine just goes more grey. <laughs> <laughs> it's, fair, it's fair to say you know you've reached the end of the agenda for the call when I, I start cracking bold jokes about myself. <laughs> I guess that's the moment I can stop the, the um, how do you call it, that? stop recording. Yeah, you can do that.